Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math, and in today's video, we will be discussing understanding your child's third grade star math results. Let's get started. So the star tests that your third grader took in May are based on TEKS, which stands for Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills. And pretty much what that means is that they are math concepts that the state determines, the state of Texas determines that each student need to learn for a specific grade level. The TEKS are divided into two standards. There are readiness and also supporting standards. When you receive your child's, or when you received your child's star report, this is how it looks. It has um, the star results and also it shows the performance and also the progress from the previous year. There are four levels of performance for the math teaks. It's master grade level, which is the mastery of the course knowledge and skills is shown. Student is on track for college and career readiness. Meets grade level. Strong knowledge of course content. Student is prepared to progress to the next grade. The next two are the ones that you need to make sure if your student, uh, to see if your student has. Approaches grade level. Some knowledge of course content but may be missing critical elements. Student needs additional support in the coming year. And just to kind of expound on that more, that means that if you, your child receives approaches grade level for the star math portion, that means they did okay, but for the fourth grade year, they will need extra support because they did not show that they had a um, comprehensive knowledge of the different math concepts for third grade. And lastly, do not meet grade level. No basic understanding of course expectations is shown. Student may need significant support in the coming year. So again, when you receive your third graders star report, Make sure to look at the reading portion and also the math portion. But right now we are discussing the math portion. This is what the star report will look like showing your child's grade level. It'll have, like we said before, the reading level and it'll give a sign and tell whether or not your child made the, met the grade level and these are where the four levels of performance are. And also it'll show you their score and what percentile they're in based on the third, the Texas, Texas third grade class as a whole. Another portion of the star report that you need to focus on is also just these specific math categories. Why? Because let's say they did meet the grade level. However, in looking at the different categories, they barely, or in some of the areas, in some of the categories, they scored low. That means that area still needs to be focused on even if it says they met grade level because if they're struggling in that category for third grade year, that means fourth grade year, if they don't receive any type of reinforcement, the fourth grade year, it will continue on as well. So as a parent, you have the power that you may not be uh, good in math or may not understand the categories, but being able to see, and we will have uh, several other videos after this, so that you can help your child be equipped and prepared for fourth grade math. So again, look at the category. So even if they met grade level, it says they met grade level, look at the individual scores for the categories to see if there is any area they may be weak in so that the summertime or once school starts, you can make sure that that 
category is focused on so that they can receive whatever they need for the math concepts they may not understand. Here are the four math categories for third grade. Numerical representations and relationships, computations and algebraic relationships, geometry and measurement, data analysis, and personal financial literacy. So just going back, these categories and the boxes highlighted in the red, these are the different categories that are separated that we were talking about earlier. So let's just take a look at some of the, look at these standards, not some of, let's look at these standards uh, that your child were assessed over in the STAR math test. The first category is numerical representations and relationships. And again, we said that for the TEKS, there are readiness standards and also supporting standards. And here is a breakdown of all of the different TEKS that um, your child may have been assessed on. Uh, most definitely for the STAR test, the readiness standards, all of the readiness standards may have been tested on and um, a majority of the supporting standard standards as well. And we won't read over all of them. Um, as a freebie, we will have this report in the description box so that you can see all of the different TEKS. And um, we will be having other videos to break all of the categories down just so that parents can um, just have knowledge of what their third grader going into fourth grade were assessed on and what they're responsible in knowing so that they can have a successful math career. Just a brief overview though of the numerical representation and relationships. These are the readiness standards. Uh, represent equivalent fr fractions, compose two fractions, compose and decompose numbers up to 100,000, and also compose and order whole numbers. So this is just an overview, not the exhausted list of the TEKS that your student was responsible for when they took the third grade math star test. Moving on to the next category, computations and algebraic relationships. And again, the categories are broken into readiness standards and also support supporting standards. In just a brief overview of the readiness standards, solve one step and two step problems with addition and subtraction, represent one step and two step problems with addition and subtraction. So it's all not just solve, but also represent. Uh, represent one step and two step problems with multiplication and division, and also so solve one step and two step problems with multiplication and division. The next category is geometry and measurement. And again, the readiness and supporting standards are broken down. And just to um, reiterate, this list, the chart, the charts that uh, I'm showing, they will, you will be able to download it and see all of the readiness and all of the supporting standards for each category that your student was assessed on, that your third grader was assessed on. Just a brief overview of geometry and measurement, the readiness standards, determine the parameter of a polygon or a missing length, classify and sort two and three dimensional figures, and also determine the area of rectangles. Lastly, it's data analysis and personal financial literacy. Again, we have the readiness and supporting standards. And just a brief overview of this category, it's summarizing a data set with multiple categories and also being able to explain personal financial literacy um, topics. Again, the freebie that we have is just a breakdown of the third grade readiness and supporting standards by category. 
Also, we will be having a STAR math enrichment program starting June 18th. It's for rising third to eighth graders. So if you, your child was in third grade, they fit um, in this category because they'll be going to fourth grade. But it's like I said again, to really focus on the STAR math concepts they were assessed on to ensure they are prepared for fourth grade math. This has been Shay Jackson with Hype Math. Thank you so much for um, watching this video. Talk to you soon. Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.